हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू प्रवेगा एजुकेशन सो स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स सॉल्व द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम द बुक दैट इज प्रॉब्लम ऑफ जनरल मैकेनिक्स एंड दैट इज फ्रॉम द कैनमेटिक्स दिस इज प्रॉब्लम नंबर वन पॉइंट वन सो इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज अ जस्ट अ डिस्टेंस एंड टाइम प्रॉब्लम एंड इट इज गिवेन अ मोटर बोट गोइंग डाउन स्ट्रीम ओवर केम अ रैफ्ट एट अ पॉइंट ए टी इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी मिनट लेटर इट टर्न बैक and after some time pass the raft at a distance l is equal to 6 km from the point a find the flow velocity and it is also given that assuming that the duty of engine to be constant so it is given the duty of engine is constant so what is going to happen suppose this is raft and the boat is coming and uh, at this is point a and after then boat will go there and come back and raft is also moving and after then they again meet so what is raft so if you are going to confuse with raft then raft is a just a platform on a river and it is just flowing with the speed of a river so you have to also know that but if you don't know this particular fact then it is very difficult to solve this particular problem so let us straight forward go to solve this particular problem what is going to happen let us see so <clears throat> so what we have we have basically so in this particular problem we have this one a motor boat going downstream so first what we have to do we have to assume that uh, this is our velocity of the velocity of a stream is let's say v not which i have to calculate and this is a you have a raft so suppose this is raft this raft is moving with velocity v not and uh, there is a boat so this is our boat and boat is let's say moving with velocity u what will happen this boat will go there and come back and after this raft will move this distance l this distance is l and the this boat will just go uh, go back at time tau is equal to 60 minute this distance is l and after just moving back it will move some distance so let's say it is moving at this distance at time t and this will be time tau not and this l is given so this t is not given and so we have to uh, find the velocity of v not so this is the track of boat and this is direction of river with velocity v not and yes this river is always flowing in a same direction so this is and this is your point a this is your point a and this is this information is given so students let's write the distance formula this distance is exactly equal to this distance plus this distance so this distance is traveled by the raft in a time tau plus t so that will be this distance and this distance is the distance in which boat is going into upstream that means it is moving against the flow of river and in this particular distance this complete distance where boat is just going in a downstream so what will happen the speed of boat in a downstream with respect to uh, with respect to earth that value is equal to u plus v not into tau that is this distance must be equal to l plus u minus v not into t so in this whole thing u is also an unknown t is also unknown we have to calculate v not so for the second equation for the raft we can write all this thing so for the raft what we have v not into t plus tau is equal to l so this is so what is meaning of that this raft will move from point a to this particular distance where this boat is again meeting it it will take the total time tau plus this time so from here we can find the value of t 
and that value is equal to L upon V naught minus tau. So this is one of the particular information we were getting from our problem. Now what we will do, we will put it here. So when we are going to put it here, then this value is equal to u plus v naught into tau is equal to L plus u minus v naught into L by v naught minus tau. Now it looks very clumsy. So students, you can see it looks very clumsy. So we have to solve it in a very nice form. So at this point, you can find that how I will get the answer because it's not look very smooth. But you will see the beauty of problem that almost all the unknown will be cancelled out. This is one of the best thing. So what we have u into tau plus v naught into tau must be equal to L plus u by v naught into L minus u into tau minus this v naught v naught will cancel that is L and what we have plus v naught tau. So what will happen this v naught tau this v naught tau is cancelled and this L and this L is also cancelled and you will surprisingly find that u is always there u is there. So all these u you can find you, I am just using different color that you can find here is also u here is also u and here is also u. So this all u will be cancelled out. So this all u will be cancelled out. So what we will get we will get the final finally that value is equal to tau is equal to and uh, this value is this is your tau and uh, L by V naught minus tau is there. And what you will get? You will get 2 times tau is equal to L upon V naught and tau is equal to L upon Q. Sorry, so V naught is equal to you can get from there v naught is equal to L upon tau. So this is uh, very simply you can get this answer. So the whole thing is that you have to just translate each and everything, each and every event in a mathematical form. So again I am just going to discuss this thing, the event one that boat will coming from here to here. This is your event one. This is x distance. And even to that boat is going into here to here in some time. So you have to take another distance. So this tau is given. So you have this particular distance in a very nice form. That is this one. And this is in the downstream. So this velocity is equal to u minus v naught. And in that particular time means tau plus t this raft will move from here to here. So here at this point this boat is again meeting the raft. So here raft and boat is again meeting. And now you can, if you are going to write all these equation, so from these two equation, you can solve it easily. So students, whenever you are solving the Eurodop problem, you have to write each and everything very carefully in a mathematical form. And here it is the first question. So you can see in a first question, there is not any acceleration. Everything is moving with a constant speed. What do you have to do? You have to only learn this formula that distance is equal to time into velocity. So this is the mother formula for this particular problem. So just do it yourself and just try to think how we can get the final answer. So this will be the final answer v naught is equal to L upon 2 tau. So you can very be very surprised we have assumed you we have assumed this particular t but each and everything will be gone and my final answer is in a very compact form. Thank you. <clears throat>